Hey, I think we're live. All right, so some people will probably be joining us pretty soon. Um, hopefully it's coming through okay. It looks a little choppy on my end, but I don't know if that's just... That might just be my phone. But what's going on, guys? It's Pixel Dan. I'm here with my friend John. What's Hello. up, John? We're actually at John's house um, in his in his He-Man room, which is amazing. And uh, we're here working on a project. I'm working on a project that John was nice enough to let us come over and take some photos of some of his toys. And in the process, mm -hmm. he's like, hey, I got all these toys. Why don't we open them up? Right. And are you sure you want to open these up? Like, I oh, feel yeah. like, I feel Let's like. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Everybody's going to enjoy seeing these, you know, figures open or yeah. vehicles for that matter. Like, we got so. two, we got two live streams happening at the same time. So we're live on my channel over oh, yeah. here. And then where are we over here? We're at Motu Evolution. What's uh, up, Motu Evolution? All right. Yeah. Pixel Dan here. Yes. This is, uh, this is awesome. This is going to be a lot of fun. What's going on, everybody? There's a lot of people joining the chat. Um, hey, we got somebody from Argentina. What's oh, going wow. on, Argentina? Yeah. Um, Everything looks okay on your end, guys. I always like to double check and make sure sounds okay and that the quality's okay. Is it a little choppy? I don't know. I'm running off my cell phone, so you'll have to bear with me if it's if it's bad. Hey guys, what's going on? We got wow, the chat is blowing up right now. This is awesome. All right, so let's just get into showing everybody what we got here. So what do we have here? We got some new adventure stuff. So I don't know how familiar you guys are with a lot of these, but um, we got a bunch of boxed new adventures of He-Man toys. Um, that I need to get pictures of out of the box for a thing that I'm working on that you'll all know about very soon. Um, but John's okay with us opening these up. Like, are oh, you yeah. sure about that? Oh, I'm totally okay. I want to see them loose anyway. Okay. I, I love the loose collections. All right. So hopefully anybody out there that's a, a mint and box collector, uh, if, if it's going to like give you heart problems or anything, just turn this video <laughs> off. I don't want to hurt anybody. Um, but so we've got, um, some of the role play items from that line that a lot of people don't even know about. We've got the Thunder Punch. It's like He-Man's Thunder Punch accessory. Uh, you know what's really great about this is uh, the Thunder Punch He-Man toy that came out. He's actually like wearing this on the toy, right? Oh yeah, yeah. it's amazing. Yeah. They actually sculpt like the details on the figure. So we got we've got that for the role play toy, and then the Skeletor equivalent is the Terror Punch. Look at this kid, man. This kid is rocking out. So. I like the uh, the sound effects on the box cracks me up too. That's good stuff. Oh, I'm sure yeah. my little so ones are going there. to enjoy. So this is the Astro Sub. All right. Hope everybody's doing great. Sorry. No, you're totally fine. We got two live streams <laughs> yeah. going on, so make sure we show it to everybody. Perfect. Perfect. Astro Sub. Uh, we got the Shuttle Pod right. right there. Somebody says I need a Sagittar. He's got a Sagittar here, don't you? Right. We're not gonna open that one up because I've already got that one at home. We're good. And then the Terror Pod. Which is, this is called Terra Pod, but I think this is also called the Terra Claw yeah. in the U.S. Mm -hmm. In the U.S., it was called the Terra Claw. So this is actually like the foreign release. And with new adventures, like so many figures came out like overseas and in and, and different countries with totally different names, right. uh, which was pretty cool. But yeah. All right. So where do you want to start, man? Um, what should we start with? I think we should start with this one. Why not? Terra Pod. You want to start with this? Yeah. So we're going to have to put stickers on and everything. Are you, are you, do you want to do it? These are your toys. You yeah, do the I'll honors. put the stickers. Okay. You yeah. do the honors. You rip this open. If you can hand me the knife, I want to keep the boxes. Ah! The yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, let's see what's going on here, everybody. What's up, everybody in the chat? Ooh, we've got 68 people in the chat right now. What's nice. going on, guys? It's like Christmas. It is like Christmas. Are you going to get Snake Mountain and review it? I am, yes. Absolutely, of course I'm going to get Snake Mountain. Uh, I think as of today, they said it's at 55% funded, and we're still, we're like halfway through the month, so that the odds seem pretty good. So as long as it goes through and it gets made, you can definitely expect a review of Snake Mountain. All right, so it takes a second to open. Yeah, it's got like that old glue on the box and everything. All right, we're going to rip a box as safely as oh, possible. Thank you, Dwayne. That's awesome. I'm glad that your son loves watching the videos. That makes me happy. Yeah, that's not too bad. Got All right. So, you okay. got loose figures to put inside. I don't I don't know. Do we have loose figures to put inside? Oh, yeah. These? We got oh, few. We're dropping stuff already. Oh, dear. All right, so this guy's awesome. I just recently got to play around with one of these for the first time because I actually shot a loose one at home. You know, there, one of the specific reasons we're opening a lot of the ones that we are is because the new adventures line has this great connectivity thing going on where a lot of the vehicles and play sets can connect together. So you can actually attach the shuttle pod 
to the top of this to make like a new vehicle. Um, and I think the Astro Sub also attaches to the top of this. It's really, really crazy. So it's almost like this crazy mech walker that Skeletor sits in the front of here. He drives this crazy mech. And then you got the different accessories. Oh, here we go. There we go. Skeletor sitting inside now. Right here. And the claw attaches to the front. And then you'll have to put some stickers on too. But at least, and we can do the stickers. I don't know if we need to spend all the time putting stickers on on the mm. live stream. So we can do that after. We'll just open everything up and show them to you guys. Come on. There. Got it? Almost. It, this needs, or the back needs to come in. There it is. Almost on there. this side. Oh, right. Yeah. There we go. It's got this big old cl crazy claw on the front. All right. Yeah. New this crazy Skeletor here on the, on the top. This is the one that's got like the glowing eyes. Oh, yeah. The eyes light up red because he's got like the little uh, the light piping thing on the back, which is pretty cool. Oh, Show everybody good. over here too. What's going yeah, on. here's the Terra Pod, Terra Claw. Yeah, new adventures coming at you in full action. Yeah. Do you have the Nordor Planet playset? I have the Nordor Planet playset at home. Do you have it too? I assume you do. Oh yeah, it's waiting. And then like, uh, <laughs> when we get done here, I'll pick up the phone and show you guys the display back here, if John's okay with that. That way you can see, because he's got Starship Eternia set up back here and everything, and it looks really cool. We have perma smiles. It's a lot of fun opening up yeah. toys. What can I say? <laughs> All right, so this thing's got like a couple different modes too, but the, the transformation's actually kind of weak. Like basically like if you fold the legs forward, uh, there's wheels on the legs. So if you fold the legs down and forward, it's supposed to turn it into a tank. But it basically just looks exactly the same just with the legs folded down. It's, it's really kind of funny. Right. Somebody's trying to call me while I'm live streaming. <laughs> All right, so that one's open. All right. You want, let's open up the shuttle pod now. And that way we can show how it sits on top of that, oh, too. Yeah. So I'll let you do the honors of opening it up. Actually, that's good, because remember, it's the version that's on the long run. Oh, that's true. So um, how long have you been collecting stuff? Let's, oh, let's, my gosh. Let's talk a little bit while you're opening up that's the boxes. That's fine. All right. Because so... you're a big Masters fan, obviously. Oh, you got course. some amazing stuff in this room here. Oh, God. So 1998, roughly, yeah. is when I found out, you know, HEMA.org and eBay and had a and eBay. job. And eBay, yeah. That was, 98's about the time I found eBay, too. Yeah. I feel like... So is, is He-Man like the first thing you searched for on eBay or did, was there something else? Monster in my pocket. Monster in my pocket was, was your first like search? like the first search because, you know, I had, I still got a few of those. Nintendo but... games was my first search. The very first thing, when I, as soon as I found eBay, I started looking up old NES games I used to play. And I think my first purchase was Super Dodgeball for the oh, NES. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. But it was shortly after that that I instantly started using it to go back and buy He-Man toys and yeah, stuff like that, too. First He-Man to toy I bought on eBay was the... Laser bolt inbox for ten dollars. Nice. Back in the day, and you had to probably send a money order, right? Yeah, yeah, no, I did. <laughs> I, I, I did send a money order. I didn't have credit back then. Shuttle pod. All right. Oh, Jacob, thank you so much, man. I I'm really glad your whole family likes watching the channel. That's awesome. Oh, I like people are telling me what their eBay searches for. Mighty Max. Oh. Oh, got his yeah. first eBay searches for Mighty Max. That's awesome. And uh, somebody makes their living on eBay. I could totally see how that could oh, work. Man. I, I feel like the eBay fees are scary for me, though. I feel like that that's... You really got to sell a lot to stay yeah, in front of that, exactly. don't you? That's yeah. That's how I see it. Thundercats too. was Articulated Toy Den's first... TMNT was their first search. Oh, I like this man. chat. This is, a, this is yeah. a good chat. All right, so we've got some doors. Yeah. So the shuttle pod's interesting because it comes with a ton of weapons. And um, the reason for that... Here, I'm going to attach this wing. Oh, it's never been attached. Oh. It's like I'm so scared, I don't want to break it. I understand. Okay, I'm going to attach the swing good. over here. And so the back of the shuttle pod opens, and it actually has a weapons rack in the back of the shuttle pod. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so that's why it comes with all these weapons, because you actually can attach all the weapons to the back of the shuttle pod and then close it up. And then you can set Skeletor or any of your evil mutants inside of the shuttle pod, and then... A lot, so like, uh, Starship Eternia has docking points, and this can dock on top of Starship Eternia. Or you can dock it on the Terra Claw here, just like this. Look at that. Oh, yeah. See that? That's how they interconnect, and they basically create a whole new vehicle. This, this is something like, 
I know a lot of people don't like new adventures. I'm talking, trying to talk to both streams. A lot of people are, because they compare it to Vintage He-Man, and I get it when you do that, right? Mm -hmm. Like, because Vintage He-Man is so great. But the play features with the new adventures toy line oh, are man. so underrated. Like, oh so overlooked exactly the way they built all of the vehicles and play sets to be able to connect together right. is so cool and i just i missed out on it when i was a kid i think a lot of people missed out on it oh yeah this gun goes in the front doesn't it i believe so it goes up right here boom just like that nice. you can show that off over there because i love that i love the way that's connected there together. Go. see there's there we got some new adventures fans here awesome all right starship it's awesome all right, the stream dropped out a little bit, but it looks like we're running again. So hopefully oh. you guys are all good. Bell and Dan. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh We wow. just all like toys. We oh, like yes. Toys. toys are amazing. All right, what do you think is the next best thing? Uh, so, the next Astro best sub? thing, yeah. Let's go for the Astro Sub. Is everybody back? Ooh, yeah, we're approaching 100 people here in the chat, which is awesome. That's awesome. Yes. New Adventures, favorite New Adventures character is Slushhead. Slushhead is a good one. I'll let you do the oh, opening. Okay. These are your toys. I don't want to, so I'm just like, I'll just start ripping these open. No. Oh, good. Everybody good? Everybody back? I think the stream dropped out for a quick second, but it popped right back up. So hopefully we're good. Really like the sword design for New Adventures. I don't hear a lot of people say that, actually. Uh, it's got more of like a lightsaber kind of look to it. Oh, cool. Somebody who actually enjoyed New Adventures as a kid. Hey, what's up, Italy? Awesome. We got somebody in the chat from Italy. Nice. You know, my problem with New Adventures when I was a kid was the sword. The handle breaks off. like. Oh, the on the toy? On the because it's made of like that translucent plastic mm -hmm. and it just snaps right exactly. off. Exactly. Every time I find a New Adventures He-Man in the wild, the swords are always missing the handles. This is the little bomb. The Mutron bomb. <laughs> <laughs> The bomb attaches to the bottom down here. See like this? See how like the, the this little bomb hangs from the bottom of this thing. Let me see. We'll fold out the wings here. And there's a handle and a trigger right here. And when you press the trigger, well, push the trigger. Woo! It just drops the bomb off the bottom. I love oh, that. So much fun. And there's like a periscope on this, which is amazing. So like you fold this little periscope up and you look through the back of the ship. Look at this. So you can actually see. It's got like the little mirror periscope thing. Like, I can see you guys. I can see what's going on. It's, it's, the play features are crazy on oh, this yeah. toy line, man. It's nuts. It'll make sure everybody can see that over there, oh, too. Yes. Sorry, I'm not trying to ignore the other chat over here. I feel oh, bad. <laughs> what's up? How rare are the new Adventures figures because you've been wanting to start a collection? I will tell you that they've gotten more valuable over the years because it's like people have decided to start going back and buy them now. When I was picking up a lot of New Adventures toys in the early 2000s, nobody wanted them back then. And you could get them dirt cheap off oh, of eBay. That's the truth. Uh, but because of Masters of the Universe Classics, more people have found out about the line, and it's it's gone up in value now. So it's a little harder to track them down. Yeah, the play features are totally insane with these toys, right? I love them. See, so many people missed out on these. It goes, uh, yeah, uh, the other way, because that works like a stand. Okay. It goes oh, this oh. way. Yep. Yeah, I see. With the bottom, and then they got these two little, these little gotcha. ones here. Oh, they're facing backwards. Yeah, I just want to make sure yep. I don't try to pop it on one way and then <laughs> end up breaking it. Trying to. And then you it. got this little deal. Oh, I know it sounds oh. scary. Oh. It sounds scary. Okay. I think that was just it clipping in. Yep. Oh. Yeah, it's all stable. <laughs> <laughs> and then where does this one go? Oh, this is here. Oh yeah. Um, which direction is it? Going? You had it. Just flip it around. It's this... just getting yeah to fit in that snug enough. Oh boy. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm gonna break it. You do it. Okay. No. <laughs> Sometimes like these these toys like they the plastic gets brittle on them over mm -hmm. the years, and I'm always worried about like snapping them. Oh. Like, Val's grimacing. Yeah, I know I because it's like I got a windshield <laughs> with pressure, and then this uh, piece down at the bottom. I'm gonna feel real bad. No. Hey, Canada. Thanks for joining What's us. Yeah. Happy so, birthday, yeah. Connor, for June 26th, which is still a month away, but happy birthday. <laughs> what other figure lines are compatible? So these guys, um, here, where's one of the new adventures figures? Are you sure that's right? <laughs> yeah, um, so isn't the, uh, didn't they reuse the molds? 
for uh, so Demoli- Demolition Man. Uh, Mattel did a toy line for the Demolition Man movie. You know the Sylvester Stallone movie, oh, no. and that toy line just totally reuses the New Adventures of He-Man bodies. So like the Sylvester Stallone main figure in that line is straight up just He-Man with a Sylvester Stallone head. Um, but the figures are in kind of like a five inch scale, and they're a lot skinnier than the vintage toys. And they've got a lot of them have that they have the knee articulation. So you know any of your five inch figures that are in that size, you could probably do compatible comparisons with. Um, they feel these came out in the at the tail end of the eighties into the nineties. These feel very nineties, like the way the toys were moving in the nineties. So is that a vintage Castle Grayskull back there? It is. His, yes. He's also got Eternia. I don't know if you can kind of see the tower, but Eternia is right there too. Uh, hello, Bryson. How are you? Thanks for joining us, guys. Which other new adventure Skeletor would you want in, in classics besides all of them? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, the well, um, okay, so this one is Discs of Doom Skeletor. And that's my favorite. And that's your favorites? Oh, yeah. um, all the Skeletor. I really versions. like, um... What's what's the other one's name? Um, the one with that real hair sticking off the back, and I don't know. Battle Blade. Battle Blade. Battle Blade Skeletor is so weird because he's wearing like this crown around his head, and the back of him has actual hair, like long black hair sticking off. It's a totally bizarre design for Skeletor. I would love it if they put that figure in classics. That would be amazing. Do I know if hey, Mattel will bring back Shiro with hair figures? I have not heard anything about that. In fact, I don't oh, even know. No. I don't even know what's going on with uh, Mattel doing a new Shiro toy line. It's okay. Did it break? Shh, don't worry. Oh, oh no, <laughs> no! Now I feel really bad that we opened this. No, don't. You're fine. Oh, yeah, fine. the brittle plastic, man. Yeah, it happens. That's why I didn't want to touch That's it. That's exactly fine. That's fine. I am not worried about it because I have glue. Okay. And why did that happen? Didn't you already have oh, a piece on? Oh, I was on? pushing pressure on. Oh man. Yeah. So this fault. piece is but mostly it's... on. Yeah, man, I can't didn't... get it to. Okay. It... So so like the the ship basically has two handles, right? So like you hold, you almost hold it like this, and then it's got the little periscope on the top. <laughs> so it's like you're almost like running around right. like pew 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 pew. It's pretty crazy. You want to cut on through? Um, I'm or... just trying to think. Oh, okay. Uh, for where I put the glue last. And then you got like the little cockpit up here in the front. So you can set a figure. Because it's on the table. But see this right here, what? see the little circle right there mm-hmm. on the top? Mm-hmm. That is also what plugs into the bases of some of these other toys. So here, if we bring in this again. I don't know how this works actually since we connected the handles. It might actually Oh, maybe not... this one doesn't actually... Yeah. But more of Starship So Eternia. it definitely attaches a Starship Eternia. Right. I don't think it actually is compatible with this because the handles mm-hmm. block it from going in. Now I'm learning things on the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to these kind of out of your way. No worries. And don't truly do not worry about that piece. So okay. All fault. right. All right. I still feel bad. No. This I... is why this is why I'm always really when people are like let's just open them. I'm like are you sure you really want to do this? Yes. Yes. All I right. Am. All right. As long as you're cool with it. I am. I'm not worried. The, about is it. everybody freaking out in this chat? Pixel down and just made What's up Mo2 Joe? What's up? <laughs> Joe. Joe's here. Yeah. What's up Joe? Hope you guys have I bet fun. Joe knows what I'm doing here. Oh, I bet. He I knows. bet Joe's on to this. John. What Yeah, Gorilla Glue. It the Gorilla Glue I've used kind of puffs up. I may be using the wrong stuff, but I like epoxy for my stuff. Gorilla Glue, Super Glue, glues faster, but I don't know. All I know is that it will be fixed with, after the live. Uh, no problem. All right. Do you want to you jump in and open this oh, one? Yeah, let's, let's do Let's open this. up these role plays now. I want to check these out. Yes. And then we will... Oh, you know what? Here, this, this one's already open. Can I pull this out? Yeah, my own. Wait do you see this one, guys. This is actually one of the things that I think is really cool that they made for this this line. That I kind of wish they would have done a proper one for the vintage line. Because mm-hmm. could you imagine a proper oh, man, I know. Havoc the, staff? Yeah, they're about this big on the uh, vintage line. And my son Theo can play with it. but <laughs> <laughs> So this is still bagged, mm-hmm. which is cool. It was The box was open, but it's still oh, yeah. bagged. But this is the New Adventures version of the Havoc Staff, Skeletor's Havoc Staff. This is like the role play thing here. And I know that there's some other pieces. I think we've got to, well, this plugs in. 
nine volt. Yeah, it takes a nine I, volt I'm battery. A nine volt battery goes up <laughs> that, sh that shows the age, right? Oh yeah. So this screws on. So look at this. Do you have a nine volt? Yep, I'll be right back. Excuse oh, nice. me. Okay, he's gonna go get a battery. Is this all the pieces? Uh, there's well, two. There should be. The, should be in. Yeah, go on the side of the head. Oh, I see it. Yeah. I see it. <laughs> Did I miss the Terrapod? Uh, that's the one that we just opened a little bit ago. I can bring it back up, though. The staff is amazing, right? Yes, the vehicles do come with stickers. We haven't put the stickers on them. We're going to probably do that after the live stream, just because that's we want to actually concentrate and make sure they're all on straight, and that, that'll just take... That'll be boring for you guys to watch. All right. All right. So let me see if I, I want to... I should have probably looked at the instructions to make sure I put these on the right way. So the big one's face downwards. All right. All right, I'm going to try not to break anything. Uh, the, those should be soft enough plastic. Yeah, these are these are softer plastic. So boom, like that. And then I think it goes this way. Oh, those are backwards. Well, that's the way it shows it on the box, oh. though. Oh, no, it's not. I did put it backwards. It's all good. I hope they come back out. OK. Yeah, of <laughs> all right. Pop that in. Pop this in. This goes like this. There it is. Look at the Havoc staff. Oh my gosh. And there's, so there's some buttons on the back right where your thumb would be because it does some stuff. You're going to put a battery in? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited. I've never, I've never played with this one loose. I'm really excited to see what this is. If it moves the chin, I'm going to faint, somebody just said. I'm pretty sure it does. I'm pretty sure it's going to yeah, talk or really something. Really okay, oh, okay. Oh. We got power. Come it's on. already making crazy noises. I can't believe this takes a 9-volt battery. <laughs> Flip these switches. There. And then we'll get this. So what's it supposed to do? So the box says it's got motion-activated jaws. Mm -hmm. There's a sound switch mode. There's sound selection. There's a fire button. Authentic Skoldorian detail. What is Skoldorian? <laughs> it's got authentic Skoldorian detailing. All right, yeah. Go ahead and you want me to give it a shot. All right, means. all right. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, there's so there's an A switch and a, so it's that A mode and B mode. And this one must be the. Oh, I don't even know what all these different things do. Oh come on, we just put it in. It was making noise. Okay. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> so, yeah. so this is how the jaw moves. <laughs> this is my I'm so happy right now. <laughs> hey man! So give it a, a swing but stop it. Oh it's motion activated. Yeah. So there, I, oh, sorry, I guess would be the A, B versus what sound you're going to get when you swing it. Yep, you switch it from A to B and it changes the sounds. Oh, and now the button makes a laser noise. Oh, and see the eyes lighting up? you're all enjoying this, this is, is a great this, neighborhood live this is an awesome role play toy oh my god this is my favorite thing <laughs> <laughs> i'm just gonna see here, here, here oh no that's I'm your totally toy you play with yeah. oh my god it's amazing it's fun to play with this and the he-man sword uh as a kid i i beat mine up and it broke so oh you had one of these as a kid yeah but oh. it didn't last i remember stomping the uh spear and the laser noise is totally them. awesome review of these toys soon well these aren't mine these are john's um but that doesn't mean i won't do a video on these at some point i do have a boxed version of that skull staff at home and now that i've played with that i might just open mine up and I get, well, that's that's amazing you know you I want know. to i know right? <laughs> All right, so I slid so this one out of the stickers box. needed for this. This is the Thunder Punch. This is the He-Man roleplay yeah. weapon. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's not even the way he talked in New Adventures, but whatever. I know. It, That's it, the way he talks to us. They gave it that 90s tune voice instead of, you know, the vintage Skeletor. 
I'm so, glad 2000X at least kind of like brought it back. Oh mm-hmm. uh, yeah, Brian Dobson. Skeletor is awesome. Funny put away Cringer's voice. So this also needs the nine volt. Do you just want to swap the nine volt over to this so we can try? Yeah, it? Got you got more? Yeah. Who stocks nine volts? I guess John does. <laughs> yeah. I, well, yeah. I just bought them a couple weeks ago. Skeletor T-shirt I got is one of the Super Seven shirts. I bought it at San Diego. I don't know if it's still in stock on their website. Somebody just asked me about it. It's already making noises. You just plugged in the... It's like, it's been wanting to talk for years, and now it's getting this chance. <laughs> it's just been waiting for this moment. Oh, that sounds great. Uh, what? That's how it works? Yeah, you can... Okay, there we go. All right, so... Okay, so it's got a Velcro strap. It might so this be is, a little too... Might be too small. We're going to find out if this fits me. Oh, it means it does. Awesome. Oh my god, it barely fits. <laughs> All right, so there you go. There's This is the battle punch. And we got to turn it on. Okay, so this button right here makes this, like, bird noise. And is it already... Yeah, just... Yeah, you got to give a stop to it. So it actually makes a punching noise when you punch something. Like, what... Okay, so it only makes the noise when you actually hit something. That means in order for this toy to work, you actually have to run around and punch your brother... Or punch your sister or whoever. Like, <laughs> like in order to get the sound effects, you actually have to be like, ah, take that, little brother. <laughs> that's that's awesome. Okay. Here, you got to try it. Okay. See if it fits. Right. It barely fit me, so I don't know. It's got, uh, it's it's made for kids. What can we say? Right? Yeah, you should get in on this. <laughs> put it on. I got to put it on? Oh, yeah. There we go. Perfect fit. <laughs> Great. Is there going to be that more out. Masters of the Universe classics? Uh, guys, honestly, I have no idea. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I have no idea beyond the movie figures that have been revealed. You, you want me to take right. that? Yeah. Awesome stuff. Awesome people. Hope you're all enjoying the live all over the place. And We want to try awesome. the yeah. terror punch. Yes. And then we got to punch each other with the different things. <laughs> <laughs> Again. That's how this stream has to end. We gotta fight each other with our with our different weapons on. We need to go get the sword out of the other. And then I'm gonna shoot you with the havoc staff. <laughs> <laughs> Brothers need to be hit. <laughs> there we go. Fight, fight, fight. So the chat already wants us to fight. So <laughs> maybe kids can punch the couch or the wall. That's probably better than punching your siblings. I guess might not be as fun. <laughs> I'm not trying to promote everybody to run around and punch your kids if that's what you're worried about. <laughs> oh yeah. Is this the last item? Yep, this is this is the last item that we're unboxing, so we're about to wrap this up. This has been a lot of fun though, guys. I hope you're having a lot of fun. Oh yeah. Got 133 people right now in the chat. This is awesome. Yeah. These features need to be incorporated into boxing gloves. <laughs> Take them to the gym and hit the speed bag with them. <laughs> Somebody said that would be... Could you imagine, like, one on each fist and you're just in the in the gym, right. like... <laughs> All right, we're getting the ba- battery plugged into the, the Terror Punch. Is the black shirt vintage. The one that John's wearing? Uh, no, it's newer. It's newer. Uh, it's got, like, an old filmation design on it. Somewhere. I don't know. Break things. Come on. There we go. You're awesome, Connor. N- oh. More Mexico? What's going on, Mexico? I love Mexico. Hope you're all enjoying. This is awesome. Wish you all were here. I had so much fun uh, in Mexico City last year Sorry, excuse me. at the unboxing toy convention. All right, so this this is the Terror Punch. This is the Terror Punch. What's going on, everybody over there? It's a weird, weird looking thing. I'm not even sure what that's supposed to be. It's like. Some weird robot face. You know what it looks like? It looks like the bad guy from that show Reboot. Do you guys remember Reboot? Doesn't that look like kind of like the villain from that show? Uh, am I going to C2E2 next year? I'm not sure yet. It really depends on what my scheduling is like. I'd like to. All right, so the button on this one makes a laser. Kind of noise. It's weird. And then, uh, let's see. The punching Anything. isn't working with this one. Is this one supposed to do the same thing? It's supposed to have a punch action. Maybe the connection on the battery is... It makes some crazy laser noises. There There we go! 
Hmm. It's not working as good. Whoa! What was that? The power. Sword. The power sword's <laughs> over here too. It does look like the guy from Reboot. See, I knew it did. Well, there you go. That's that one. Awesome. Here you go. I'll, I'll let you have that one. All it's right. got like some weird little like like spider legs off the side of right. it and everything. Here. Since he brought this in, here's the power sword. Oh, yeah. Gives you just enough time if you push the right... Yeah. You can say, by the power of Grayskull, I have the power. Oh, wait. It didn't do... Is it bad? It's running out. By the power of Grayskull, I have the power. <laughs> That's so Damn. great! Oh, happy 40th birthday, Dale, and what's up to everybody in the UK? Thanks for joining us, guys. What's up, Robert? The sword's awesome, right? I have the power of weight. <laughs> That's totally... For the honor of lasers and stuff, I like it. <laughs> That's That should be the... There you go. we got so many crazy sound effects going on in here right now. <laughs> Listen to all these lasers! It sounds like the 80s in here. <laughs> this is amazing stuff. Oh, man. Awesome. Fun. All right. Hey, real quick, before I let everybody go, since I told you guys I was going to do this, let me bring my phone up here. You okay if we give them oh, a, by all a quick means. look at give everything? Here's the, here's, here's, here's the room. Here's the Motu room. Over here, he's got a bunch of 2000X. See all of it up on the wall. You can see the stactions and the figures, and hopefully the phone's not getting too blurry. There you go. And then here, here's his new adventure stuff right here in the front. What's up, guys? Thanks for watching. Here's Starship Eternia. And then you kind of bring it over here. Is all is this? Uh, oh, vintage. Here's all your vintage, and vintage, you got some classic, classic stuff there too. 2000X, all mixed in with the commemoratives. Here's Eternia, and you got Grayskull and Snake Mountain right alongside mm -hmm. them there, which is really great. And then all the vintage Horde and Snake Men are underneath. And... Yep. There's the Battle Cat Ride On, which I love this thing. Mm -hmm. You got you just got all kinds of amazing oh, stuff hey, all around. You're all watching, and I'm just holding the phone, watching everybody. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. All right, well, John. Let's sign off here on mine. Right. But thank, thank you. you very much for oh, letting no us problem. open thank these toys up. Coming. I hope you guys had a lot of fun yes. uh, watching the video, watching us open up some of these toys, because I had a lot of fun opening them up. I love I love checking out vintage right. stuff like that oh, when man. we have a chance to. So oh, yeah. All right. I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for watching Dan. 